today, unfortunately, we had to put to sleep Clara, who's one of our older female white rhinoceros. Um, Clara is just over 40 years old, which is the equivalent of about 80 to 90 years old in human years. As a conservation organisation, we're dedicated to the conservation of this species. We keep several live white rhinos here at Whipsnade, but we also keep a DNA bank. So we took samples of DNA from this rhino to store, so there'll be a copy of her genome available for all time. And we also took a sample of cartilage from her ear. So even though she's gone, her cells will hopefully live for many years hence and can be used to study white rhino biology and genetics. All of the findings that we find from this post-mortem will be stored on an international system called the Zoo Information Management Service, which allows people from other zoos to access this information. And we also take in a lot of samples to be given to collaborators and for our own research projects. By studying her cells to see what mutations she's accumulated, we can see whether rhinos age the same way humans age, whether they're better at resisting aging or worse. And we can use all those comparisons to really properly understand the aging process, the development of cancers, the development of heart disease, disease. So the materials, the information, the samples that we've collected today will go on to influence how we look after the species, how we conserve this incredible species in the wild for years to come and will contribute to huge amounts of scientific research and data.